As Yoshi and I were getting to the final challenge, I didn't want it to end. We were having so much fun learning and training. Although I was a little sad by the time we got to our final challenge, I couldn't let that affect me because I had to be physically and mentally prepared. So today we're going to be at XMA headquarters run by my buddy Mike Chats. He's also the Blue Power Ranger on Lightspeed Rescue. He's a good friend of mine and today he's going to be helping us put Forrest through the video. Hey guys, it's Forrest and welcome to my adventures. So today I believe is my last training day. So far you've learned how to think like an action hero, move like an action hero, and fight like an action hero. And today we're going to put it all together and you're going to perform it in front of a live audience. How cool. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yoshi didn't tell me about how I was performing in front of an audience. I didn't know how I felt about that. I mean, I'm okay at doing rehearsal, but I didn't want to be put on the spot. Hi, I'm Mike Chat, and we're at the XMA World Headquarters in North Hollywood, California. Forrest is a great kid. He's been he's been on Fresh Off the Boat for two seasons now. I knew that he was a martial artist, so having him come in and, and then work with us was was exciting. So today we're gonna have him do two tricks with the extreme double sword. It's a brand new weapon, and then we're gonna do have him do an action fight sequence with live stunt professionals. Put him in the wires, do a couple tricks, and then we'll see what happens. All right, all right. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you, Hello. Forrest. Good to have you here. So, I hear that this is your fourth and your final test today. That's Are right. you ready? Let's get started. Okay, come on in. I was really intimidated when I first met Mr. Chat because he was moving super fast and I needed to keep up. We had to fit in so much in a little amount of time. So, Mike and I have been friends for quite some time and I'm really excited to hand you off to him. So, Mike, <laughs> do your thing. Thank you, sir. All right, well, I know you're an accomplished martial artist and you're familiar with the single sword, but today, we're gonna take your skills to the highest level in XMA Extreme Martial Arts with the double sword. Let's get started. I know personally how intricate sword work is, so I was excited to see how Forrest would do with two swords. So this XMA move that we're doing with Forrest, it's called the trick, it's a release with the sword. He's used to using single sword, but using both swords and having the arms move different directions at the same time is really the key. No, it's not like you would go use this in application when you're fighting or in a battle, right? But, but to bring your mental level, to train it, the discipline, the focus over and over and over, that's what, that's what the, the purpose of this drill is. So now that we finished the first trick, we're gonna move on to the second trick. This right. one, we're gonna be doing a release where you throw right. it up in the air. You ready? So it looks yes. like this here. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. Hey, Mike, you mind if I grab Forrest for a second? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on over here, bud. So, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous because of the performance today. Yeah, especially um, with the moves that you're getting right now. I know that you're kind of getting a little bit frustrated there, but it looks good. It's looking good. Yes. You're right. learning really fast. You're not dropping the sword on your toes. That's good. Yes. You're not bleeding yet. Yes. <laughs> but um, I think you're really close. You're going to be able to get this soon. All right? All Just right. keep persevering. I think I got this. I think yeah? I got this. Come on. Right. Let's go back. Choreography is very intricate and you need to learn it. It takes time to learn. But as an action hero, you get maybe 15 minutes to learn such choreography and be able to do it on camera really well. But they also break those off into different pieces. Forrest has to learn a whole fight choreography. We're shooting a master and he's learning it in, within the hour. That usually takes a few days to do something like that. So uh, we'll see how he does and I think he's going to be able to do it really well. 
Watching all these guest choreographers come in, I didn't want to let them down. I had to muscle through it. You're gonna push him back, push him back. Your goal is to get down there to safety, okay? So you need to fight through these two guys. Kick, fucking round kick. Good, and then you're gonna duck under this hook punch. And he's gonna go into the wall. Yeah, it's a big hook, right? And then you're coming over here. There's gonna be a little exchange right here. I certainly punched him in the nose, but he's a strong guy and he gets to push me back later. Okay, Watching the first bit of choreography that they're working on, um, Forrest is being thrown in. He's fighting against two people right now, and it's really cool to see um, how he's catching on to things really quickly. He's putting a little bit of the stuff that I taught him before into play, and it's, it's really cool to see. He's coming over the rail. You just got to flip in, and now you don't right right here. Maybe you jump over, you kick him in the stomach, you grab him, you grab him. You kick him again, he falls down on the ground. Boom, he's down. You're coming over the rail, right? And now we've got a four on one fight sequence. Uh, Mr. Chad, I think I need you to explain to me like maybe 15 more times <laughs> and then I'll get a good rough draft. All right, let's go back to one and we'll walk it through.